tuned for The Prey, next on The Basement Tapes with Eddie Fingers, only on Star 64. Star 64 Television salutes the city of Wyoming, one of the tri-state's shining stars. Portions of this program may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome here to the basement for another Saturday night of, uh, of fun. I'm uh, at Fingers. You'll notice the tan. I ended the war. I was in the desert. I came walking across the sand. I said, hey, Saddam, I'm here to kick your ass. The war's over. Speaks for itself. Uh, we got a couple of guests with us tonight. Uh, we got a couple of comics. Vic Henley, John Mark's going to be here. And are we going to have... Uh, We're going to have Ivana. Ivana... Ivana B. Rude's evil twin. evil twin. This, uh... Who now works for the entertainer. Who now works for the inter... You know, she was on our show and she lost her gig. No, she got a better gig. She got a better gig working for the entertainer. They're paying her. She actually is getting paid now. Just like, uh, just like we're paying you, finally, to do something around yeah, here. Yeah. Besides look damn yeah, good. Look and how can we get on, uh, can we get Donna Cam over here? We've got a new camera person here. Who used to, ladies and gentlemen, this is how big I'm getting in this market. <laughs> look at this. I'm getting so big that I'm working with somebody who used to work on the Bob Braun show. <coughs> <laughs> Where's my x lax Thank you, Donna. Our movie tonight is The Prey. And uh, I have absolutely no... I, I, read, I read this thing that tells you about the movie about four different times. I still don't know what it's about. Uh, it says it's got a horrifying ending, uh, so we've got two hours to figure it all out. Watch our first segment of The Prey, and we'll be back with a couple of our guests, huh? I swear I use protection. I swear I use protection. <laughs> Hi, and, uh, and welcome back uh, from the prey here. Uh, and furthermore, yes. the evil, the evil uh, sister of Ivana B. Rude. Of Ivana B. Rude. And now, uh, what gives? Well, Ivana killed herself after she saw herself on this crazy show. <laughs> well, you know, it was the 10 pounds that um, the TV Just automatically it, puts yeah. on you. I swear, she will never wear checks again. She jumped off the Yellen End Bridge. Bad, but and, <laughs> and all the water left the river. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, she said, her last words were, "My arms, they looked like ham hocks." <laughs> Go figure. So, uh, so you're going to continue in the Ivana tradition, but you're going to do it for the entertainer. For now. the entertainer. Because uh, Ivana worked for that other. Uh, other rag. That other rag. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dirt's going on here? Smug looks. We're talking about smug people, baby. There's so many smug people in Cincinnati. You know, uh, Julie Isferding, for for mm. example. You know, I mean, the, she left her, her her job at the racetrack over over at um, Turfway, mm -hmm. and everybody says, oh, it's because she wanted more time to race, and she also um, wanted she was called to be a paralegal. Mm -hmm. She wanted to do important work. Well, I know it was because she couldn't get a date with Stephen Ford. Yeah, you know, I mean, he couldn't outrun her. <laughs> yeah, they got to admit that. What was the purse on that filly? <laughs> <laughs> She's come in three pounds over. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you know, also, you know, like um, Mrs. Sam Weish. Mm. <sighs> you know, smug lady. But but you know, t you know, speaking about Sam, you know, he 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 was he'd been doing a lot of do-gooding. Yeah, the but, charity stuff. You know, I was um, at the ballet the other night, mm. and on my way out, I. I had to step over so many inebriated people. You wouldn't believe it. And you know, I thought it's. Good. I can't imagine myself, you know, ending up that way. I, partly well, because. Well, I have, ma'am. Right? It's no fun. Trust me. <laughs> because, partly because the free store doesn't stock Coco Lopez or um, maraschino <laughs> cherries, and you know, it's really hard to mix the sissy drinks that I like when you're sitting in the gutter. 
I can't see myself going into the free store with that with a blender under my arm. I want arm. it blended, not shaken, damn it. Excuse uh. me. Oh, where's the plug? Could, could you please, like, direct me? It wouldn't go over too well. You brought a bunch of these support our troop stickers. What, what's this? Oh, these support the troops. Well, I guess... <laughs> yes. Well, that, that wasn't quite the effect I wanted. But, you know, yeah. I'm, I wonder, what is Ellen Lambing and, and, and all of her... Orange, orange ribbon ladies. What are they going to do for a social life now that now the, what's um, gonna happen? the war's over? You know, I thought about it, and I know. They're going to go back to making clothes for the cement geese in their front yard. <laughs> <laughs> and, but you know, the dry, the dry cleaners are really happy about these stickers now that the war's over, because they're going to make a bloody blue fortune getting the stick em off of people's coats. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break, get back to the fray. We'll be back with Ann Furthermore after this. <laughs> oh, my I can't help but just be amazed at how gorgeous you are. Right. <coughs> uh, <laughs> and furthermore, from now the entertainer with us. That's right, the your, entertainer. Your evil twin sister who used to work at uh, well, that other uh, thing. It, it's the It's Cliff Radel's your sister, isn't he? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Could be. We're talking. We were, last time you were here, we were talking about the entertainment district. You know, everybody knows Cincinnati is central downtown entertainment district. Of course, is is in Kentucky, <laughs> on the riverfront. I know you're talking about Jeff Ruby being a little concerned. Oh now. yeah, Jeff. He, you know, he, he's sweating a little, but um, he's probably the only person. But you know, there's one person in town who's excited about um, Bill Wyman the, bringing his Sticky Fingers right. Cafe into town, and that's um, former Congressman Buzz Lukens. <laughs> he figures they can go on double dates together. <laughs> <laughs> if there are two, if there are any more teenagers around who haven't heard Buzz's story. Yeah, his favorite song, "Love in an Elevator." <laughs> We're gonna take a break. We'll be back with more of the parade. And, uh, and see this ending? That's supposed to just kill you. You're going to be haunted for days by this thing. <laughs> uh. Ah! Oh, uh, hi. Uh, what do you think? Uh, the Prey there, huh? Uh, join us next week for a movie, House, here on the Basement Tapes next Saturday night, 10 o'clock. See you Monday on WEBN at 5.30. There's Kentucky basketball action coming your way tonight on Star 64. The Wildcats take on Auburn tonight at 1230, right after Who's Your Millionaire, next on Star 64. <laughs>